Hello, learn a little bit more every day, and today we will learn about self-destruction syndrome. You may not know, while everyone is trying to protect themselves in the safest way, there are people who destroy themselves to deal with sadness. These are people with self-destruction syndrome, a strange syndrome in medicine. First of all, let's clarify about this syndrome. Self-destruction means a user consciously acts to destroy he his or her own body. Not drunk or any other cause, guys. They are completely alert and they are in control of themselves. How do they harm themselves? Then all acts like hitting the face, on the body. Even using a knife to cut the legs, hands or use scissors to cut meat is considered self-destructive. This syndrome is divided into two groups. That group of mild-tempered people is that when they experience a sudden sadness, they tend to behave in self-harm. Through that sad story, everything returned to normal. Admin himself belongs to this group. Second, those are people who constantly suffer from obsessive pain, stress in their life that makes them feel like they are depressed. And since then, they also silently destroy their own bodies. This is very dangerous because there are many cases when they are discovered that have resulted in serious injuries and even death. At this point, you will be curious why would they do that? What will be gained by self-destruction? To understand, let's go back to see what caused people to do so. That is sadness, mental pain. Most people with self-destruction syndrome are in a very bad mood, possibly due to stress and pressure at work, due to the sad story in love, in family life, or many people have been abused since childhood, have been sexually harassed that make them grow up in obsession. In general, when they get too sad or suffer from constant pain in their hearts, they self-destruct. And you will be surprised to learn that self-destruction makes people with this syndrome feel more comfortable, less painful, and lighter life. For example, a girl was taken to the hospital with her wrists with cuts on a razor. When asked why she did that, the girl replied that she doesn't know either. There was an unfortunate time of being cut into my arm without pain and instead felt happy. So every time they are sad about something, they do it and feel better. So the first reason, is that these people feel less sad, and more comfortable, and more gentle when self-destructing. As for me, when I feel too sad, punching my hand against the wall will feel comfortable. Someone scolded me for being mad or for doing so. But actually doing that is much more pleasant than all of you. Perhaps it is because when the brain is too focused on emotional pain, we feel a lot of pain. When punching a wall, the brain is distracted by physical pain and therefore less sad. This situation happened to one of my brothers. Even though she was a girl, when she was sad, she punched her hand against the wall to bleed. Or someone else was like that, she bit her hand to bleed. However, in addition to pain relief this action has a number of other causes that are to attract more attention and attention. Simply when you are injured, others will care and worry about you more. So in order to gain this attention, many people have chosen to harm themselves. Those are the two reasons why they self-destruct. And we clearly see, while hurting oneself can provide some relief from the emotional pain of people. With this syndrome, it is very negative and also very dangerous. So after many years of experience, I have some much better and more effective suggestions for you as follows. The first is to walk when you are sad or stressed. Just walk while watching the surroundings. You will feel much more relaxed, feel lighter. This is not simply a theory, but in fact scientists have researched that when walking, the brain releases many happy hormones such as dopamine, serotonin, live more actively. In the long run, your negative problems will gradually be eliminated. Besides, you should connect with optimistic people who love life. Third, to solve psychological problems, find close friends to confide in or share true feelings with parents or see a psychiatrist to deal with it. When the root of the problem is resolved, you will no longer be left with sadness, stress or loneliness. Thanks for watching the video.
goodbye and see you again.